This is going to be a demo of the Dynacord CLS222 Leslie Rotary Speaker Emulator. Uh, it's an oldie but goodie. This is one of the very first emulators, and it, it's a German-made machine that's very, very accurate sounding. Um, it has a great stereo spread of the effect. Um, what we're going to be listening to right now is, um, is a direct recording, so you're not hearing it through a, a camera mic or a speaker or anything. This is going direct, so if you were to record with this unit, this is... This is what you would get. Uh, we're going to start out with um, everything off. What I'm playing this through is a Hammond XB2. It's an, uh, another oldie but goodie. But any tone wheel type organ, any 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 keyboard that emulates a tone wheel in, in, in any accuracy whatsoever is going to make very good use of this Dynacord. It's going to the Leslie effect is going to be very good. This particular one I'm selling on eBay, uh, and it's uh, you know it, it's it's. Not cosmetically perfect by any means, but it works almost exactly as it should. Um, the only thing about this one is that the stereo spread seems to be, there's a few different options for stereo separation, and it seems to be locked into, um, into full spread. Uh, but it also has, uh, it sounds great in mono mode too. So you don't have, there's three different variations of stereo. Uh, stereo 1, stereo 2, and, and super stereo. And I believe this is locked into st super stereo. Uh, at this point. So if you're starting out with just your tone wheel, tone wheel organ sound, kick the effect on. This is in stop mode. We're going to kick the effect in. We're in stereo right now, so to give you a sense of the, uh, the stereo e effect. So we're going to kick this thing on. Okay, now I've kicked this into, I've put it into mono mode for the rest of this demo, so you've got a, a sense of the stereo spread. Okay, so a quick tour. The preamp section is not like, uh, it, it's not a, uh, a distortion effect. It's simply uh, dialing in your pregain so that you have a very clean signal. And this is a very, very clean unit. Um, the signal path that comes through it is very, very clean. The preamp simply is dialing in your levels so that you've got a clean signal. It is not going to offer you any kind of overdrive. Uh, rotor balance goes from the, the bottom rotor of a Leslie 122 and all the way up to the full horn. Next, as I said before, is the stereo spread. Right now, it's set for mono. But you're not going to, this is the one thing about this, th this control is not really doing anything. So you're either going to patch it into mono, or you're going to patch it into full stereo spread. Uh, next is the volume. This is the output volume. This is a pretty simple machine, actually. There's not a whole lot of controls to it. It just simply does what it does very well. Uh, that's the output volume right here. Uh, the effect is either completely on, completely off. And when it's on, it can be at full break. It can be at slow. Or it can be at fast. And there are controls in the back. Here's a quick tour of the back. There are fine-tuned controls for the speed of the, the bass and the treble rotors. Um, and there's a foot switch, which I do not have, th which uh, goes from fast to slow. And then your basic input and output controls, you have a, a mono input, and then it will output the, the effect in stereo or in mono, and you have your choice of 
either um, um, either TRS jacks, or I think they're probably TS jacks, and XLRs. And really, that's that's all you get. That's all that there is to it. It's a very very convincing Leslie effect, and um, and that's what it does. <laughs>